believe that um, uh, that we have had a certain kind of training from this uh, world building and this kind of interactive storytelling that is informing a new generation of entertainment content. So the opportunity to come to WeirdCon and and tell a few of, of the attendees that um, that that it is an honor um, to have been in this space and that there is a direct connection and influence that 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 these people have had on global popular culture um, you know I just wanted to to let them know that we acknowledge that and um, and we love them for it and uh, that we're as nerdy and geeky as they are um, an effort should be made uh, a greater one and I think we've started this year um, to draw more direct connections uh, between this subculture and the greater entertainment uh, uh, and advertising uh, culture. Um, the, uh, the group of, of speakers that were drawn here were tremendous and, um, and what I'd like to see is to, to make the, the greater LARP and, and uh, RPG community understand that, um, that they don't have to be insulated within their world, um, that, that it's actually possible to use their skill sets to make themselves happier in the mundane world, or, or even able to pursue their dreams of, of doing these sorts of things, realizing story worlds professionally. Um, uh, amongst the speakers, we called your attendees at, at WeirdCon the farm team. The farm team. That, that means that, that this is a body of, of creativity and skill sets that are rarefied in the um, entertainment and advertising world. Um, and, um, and that we should be drawing more direct connections between ourselves and them. Um, and, and that means getting more people to WeirdCon.